and welcome to our third Mac Gourmet Deluxe tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to import recipes from websites, then look at how to create notes, shopping lists, wine notes, and then learn about the recent area. Let's get started. In our last tutorial, we went over how to add a recipe from scratch, no pun intended, and we also learned how to import a recipe from another program. Now we're going to talk about what you do when you find a great recipe on a website. In order to do this, we need to enable services for Mac Gourmet Deluxe if they haven't been enabled already. First, let's go into System Preferences. Click on the Apple menu and select System Preferences. Next, click on the keyboard icon and with the Keyboard Shortcuts tab selected, click on Services. Scroll down until you see the Clip Recipe and Import Recipes from Web Page options and make sure that the checkboxes are checked. If not, click on them to check them. Finally, close the Preferences window. Now let's import a recipe from a supported website. Mac Gourmet Deluxe comes with a series of plugins which allow you to import recipes from a variety of sites. To find out which sites have plugins available, from the Tools menu, choose Plugin Manager. Here's a list of the plugins. Now some sites have plugins that are not enabled. If you want to enable a plugin, Click the Install button. Okay, this looks like a good recipe. Now keep in mind that this only works using Safari and Mac or May Deluxe needs to be open. With the website address highlighted in the menu bar, from the Services option within the Safari menu, choose Import Recipe from Web Page. The Recipe Importer Assistant will appear. Now most of the information will automatically be entered for you but if it isn't, you'll need to enter it. First, highlight the text, then use the pull-down menu at the top to specify the area in which you want the information to appear, and then finally, click on the Set button. Additionally, you may need to use the drop-down menus to select the information or use checkboxes in other areas. Once you're done modifying the information, click on the Save button. Now let's talk about recipes that are not on supported websites. First, go to a printer-friendly version of the recipe. You may need to click on a printer icon to bring up a printer-friendly version. Once you do that, highlight the text. Next, from the Services option from within the Safari menu, select Clip Recipe. Now double-click on the recipe to access the Import Assistant. Just like the supported website, highlight the text, Select the section in which you want it to appear, and click on the Set button. Once you're done, click on the Save button. Now let's talk about Notes. In the Notes view, to add a note, click on the New button. Enter the information you'd like to enter, and then click on the OK button. Now let's talk about Shopping Lists. With the Shopping Lists icon highlighted on the left, click on the New button. Enter the items you want, and then click on the Save button. You can also create a shopping list by selecting a recipe or group of recipes, and then from the New option under the File menu, choose Shopping List from Selection. Next, enter the store or stores you'll be buying the ingredients from, and then click on the Save button. The ingredients will then be grouped by store, and then you can print your shopping list. Let's talk about creating wine notes. From the File menu, choose New Wine Note. A window similar to the Recipes window will appear. Once you're done entering your information, click on the OK button. Now let's talk about the Recent Area. The Recent Area displays the most recent clippings, featured items from the MacGourmet.com website, search results, last imported items, and last but not least, the trash. Now if you've deleted something by mistake, don't worry. Just right-click on the item and choose Restore to Library. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. For more information, consult your user's guide. Also, check out our knowledge base on our website. You can also contact us via email and through iChat. We're happy to help. For now though, have a great day.